So to set up a free autos project, um, the first thing that you need to do is download the free autos source file. Go on to freeautos.org and on this left pane of this main page you can find download source. Click on that and you can see this button here download source code and project. If you click on this it will take you to the source forge uh, uh, website where uh, you can which is the repository for the free autos kernel. I will also post a link uh, in the video description and your download will start automatically it will be an exe file um, this is an extraction file it doesn't really install anything in your program files it just asks you where you want to extract your source file so this is going to be downloaded here so you can see the free autos version 10.1.1 uh, is downloaded run this application and set up your directory where you want to extract the files um, I've already done this in my document so I don't want to do it again uh, so you can see here uh, free autos version 10.1.1 is extracted already but you have to extract it to wherever you want but it might take some time a few minutes um, if you open this folder here you can see that it will have some some shortcuts to some websites it has this folder called free autos plus which includes some uh, some features that you can add to your free autos that is provided by the free autos such as uh, UDP and TCP or some IO or there are some other extra stuff or command line interface as well if you want to use them in your project maybe in the future uh, some later videos we will look into them as well but the folder that we are interested in is this free autos so this is the folder that we will have to include into our project so first let's go and make a project in our Atollic Crew Studio Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, the Atollic is a uh, Eclipse-based ID that is used to develop codes for uh, ARM Cortex uh, MCU, mostly the Cortex MCU. And uh, I'm going to create a new project here, new C project, and uh, I'm going to call it the Autos Tutorial. And it's going to be an embedded C project. Now, um, yeah, just uh, just as an, as an extra information that uh, I would like to give you is that um, Atollic True Studio has this uh, other project type called CMSYS C C++ project. If you create a CMSYS project, then uh, it's really simple to set up free autos. You have some options where you can select uh, what all you want to include, uh, uh, some additional drivers or some there are many other options that you will see it also includes free autos so you can just select and your project will be completely set up with all the free autos files and folders everything included but the objective of this video is to see how we can manually set up the free autos so i'll just create a standard standard project here uh, the mcu that i want to use will be stm 32f 446 re this is a Cortex M4 uh, architecture. You can use uh, whatever you want, uh, you know, whatever MCU that you are using. You can select that. I'm just going to click next, next, and finish. So the project is created here and now we need to include the free auto source file so let's move this on the left side okay so in eclipse you can add a add a folder into your project just by dragging it inside your project um, now uh, you can copy the entire project inside but um, that takes quite some time you might have to wait for the entire folder to be copied and this folder is like around 200 mb i think 287 MB so it will take some time so I just want to link the files and folders so that should be good enough so there I have my free autos folder included but it's it's not included into the build by default so if you look into the properties CC++ build you can see that the entire folder is excluded 
so I'm going to include it first and now the folder is included but there are still some other files and folders that I will have to exclude from my build uh, the first thing is if you open the free auto you can see the demo folder here so this demo folder has a demo for uh, free autos uh, project for various different um, MCU different architectures for different tool chains like for example IR they have some for win AVR and um, you can have a look at them how the project is set up and but for setting up a project here I, I won't need this folder so I can just exclude it from my build okay so that's done next is uh, the so source folder here so inside the source you need everything inside include you need all these other files um, inside the portable you can see uh, let's open this here as well so portable now you can see there are different uh, these are different tool chains or compilers so there are various ports that are officially supported by free autos and they have segregated them based on the tool chain so the tool chain that i'm using or the compiler that i'm using is a is a arm new gcc compiler so it's going to be a gcc but if you are using uh, for example ir workbench you can select ir if you are using uh, the the arm kyle uh, tool chain you can select kyle and there are various other ones if you if you're using them just select them so for now uh, my tool chain is GCC so I I have to keep this folder and there is another folder that I need to keep which is the mem manage now, this one you have to keep regardless of uh, which tool chain folder you want to keep so if you're using for example code warrior you have to keep code warrior plus the mem manage so everything except for that except for the mem manage and the tool chain that I want to use which is GCC I'm going to exclude them from my build okay, that's excluded and again open the um, portable so you can see now you just have these two folders here and inside GCC it again has um, the different architectures that are compiled with the GCC uh, compiler so uh, the architecture that I'm using is a Codex M4 which is this one ARM CM4 so this is the folder that I will need so it will have the port for my Codex M architecture and everything else I just have to exclude them except for ARM CM4 so right click exclude from build okay so inside my source portable GCC I just have my arm CM4 and inside this memory manage you will see there are five different files heap1, heap2, heap3, heap4 and heap5 uh, you just need to select keep only one of them now uh, these are different uh, uh, stack options it's like um, when you create a task it occupies a an area in the stack memory and sometimes um, if you're deleting a task then the memory still retains there you cannot reuse that space for doing something else um, but maybe the heap 4 it allows you to do that so uh, as you go down the number you might find that there are more features memory features available to you so I just like to keep it in heap 4 and everything else I'm just going to exclude them except for heap 4 um, uh, exclude from build okay that's done so I have excluded all the unnecessary files that I won't be needing now there's one more file that I will need um, and that is called the free autos config.h file that has the the configuration for your uh, mcu such as the the cpu frequency or the features that you want to enable or disable in the free auto and um, this file you have to add it yourself you can find templates um, you can the easiest way to do is if you go back to this uh, free autos folder and do demo you'll notice that each of this project they have this file here free autos config.h 
open any other you can see the free autos config.h and they are they almost have the same structure the template is almost similar yes if you open it you can see that this one the preemptive kernel if you want to use that if you do want to use idle hook if you want to use retask delete so there are different options here um, for the uh, for the STM32 MCU I have my own configuration file here I'm just going to add that into my project this is also similar to what you have just seen so it has uh, like my system called clock it has some other configuration I'm going to copy it into my um, let me make a new folder so it makes thing a bit more uh, organized I'm going to call it include and I will copy it inside include I, I prefer making another copy because uh, this file is going to be exclusive to this project only so I don't uh, so this I just made a copy of this file so it's not this file here so it's all good so I've added the necessary file that I have to as well so excluding unnecessary files and folders are done adding the configuration file that's done the next step is to tell the uh, the compiler that you have added the folders that I needed so there are three folders or three directories that you need to add into your project the first one is going to be this uh, free autos config file so you have to include the INC uh, folder into your project. The second folder that you need to add is your free autos source include. So this include folder or directory you have you have to add it into your project. And the third one is going to be inside your um, port. So our port was using a GCC compiler and it was an ARM CM4F. So these two files, port and port macro, which is there in almost any file here. If you see, if you open any of the architecture or any of the port, you can see it has a port, port macro. So this is the third folder that you will have to add. And uh, in Eclipse, if you know how to add them, um, you can go on properties, um, go on CC++ build, settings, tool settings, and under C um, directories, now the, how I got into this option might be different for a different version of Eclipse but uh, it should be there everywhere it should be there in every IDE actually it doesn't matter if you're using code blocks or if you're using Atmos Studio uh, you will have find this option to add directories or remove directories so let's add the three directories the first one as we said is going to be our our include that contains the free autos config.h file Okay, the second directory is going to be the free autos source include. That's done too. And the third one is going to be inside portable, the port that you have, which in our case was GCC, it was the ARM CM4. So this was our port. So I need to include that. So these are the three directories that you need to add into your project click apply okay and if we build it let's do a clean before that there you can see it builds fine perfectly without any errors 